The money has been exchanged. God, my teeth look awful. This is awful. This is what happens when you have vitamin deficiencies and you have tonnerines, by the way. Don't get a tonnerine and don't have a vitamin deficiency. But anyway, I don't think you can help having a vitamin deficiency if you have one anyway. But, yes, I, I do have a blanket over me. And I am naked because I can't stand clothes. I hate clothes. I, I, I just, I, no. I don't want clothes on. So, Johnny Depp was born in Kentucky. He's Canadian. Yes, my nails are unkept. Yes, my hair is messy. I don't care. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's Canadian. It doesn't matter. Either way, he has a North American accent. Uh, uh, he's from North America and sounding like he's English. I can't stand him. The things that he does he does to people. No, I don't I don't like him. I don't like him as a person. I don't like a lot of Hollywood stars to tell you the truth because they do a lot of messed up shit. Look it up, love. Oh, you called me love. Are you flirting with me, Amy? I don't know why you would. <laughs> I'm a disabled woman with no clothes on who, who shat on camera and didn't even know it. Foodie Beauty did it, though. There's lots of times she peed and shit and, on, while she was on camera. So I'm not going to feel guilty about that, especially since everyone shits. I don't like any celebrities. I don't idolize people. Nah. Same. Same. I don't... I, I, I'll i talk to people. I'll love people. But idolize? No. I know a lot of celebrities. But I... Uh, like... I am fucking with them. Am I well today? A little perturbed. Over Jason and the drinking thing. Because I'll, I'll tell you this. This is what he was doing, right? And he'll admit this. Is I was smelling alcohol and cinnamon on his breath. And I was like, Jason, you smell like alcohol. Are you drinking? No, I'm not drinking. I, what are you talking about? You're crazy. He literally said this to me. For three days he was doing this to me. While I was like, you smell like alcohol, and he wouldn't kiss me because he knew he had alcohol in his breath. And that's not like him at all. Because usually he's pretty much mauling me the whole day. Um, but... <laughs> Last night, I finally called him out. And I said, Jason, do you love me enough to tell me the truth? His face dropped. He looked guilty as hell. And he went into the kitchen, went into the cabinet, and showed me. He had uh, a handle of Fireball. And I was like, why did you lie to me about this? Why did you do this? And it, 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 and I was like, you know, God doesn't like this stuff. Why are you doing this? And he said he's sorry and he felt guilty about it and. We made up. Are you in the same home and not know? Right? 
Like, I was smelling it on him. Like, I know how alcohol smells. He was trying to say it was Big Red gum. Uh uh. Uh uh. I know Big Red how it smells. No. The fumes of alcohol. You know how, how alcohol comes off someone when they're drinking? You, like, can smell it when you're, when you're not a drinker. Um, when you're a drinker, you don't really smell it. But when you're not a drinker, you, you can smell it. I, I was smelling the intoxicants. It was coming off his body. So he was drinking quite a bit. I don't know how much he drank. I don't know how long he was doing it. Um, he says three days. It, it seems like it's been three days. Because I've, I've been smelling it for three days. But, like... It hurts. It hurts. Because I got him off the booze and took care of him for a whole year because he got wet brain, which is basically a thiamine uh, deficiency that people who drink get. And I was listening to the doctor's orders, giving him thiamine, um, taking him to the doctors, and he was out of his mind for a whole year. And I was caretaking him. And he goes back to drinking after all the shit we've gone through because of booze. It really hurt. But I know he has a I know he's an alcoholic, and I know people who are alcoholics do this sometimes, you know. Um, he, 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 for the longest time, he said, I'm not an alcoholic, you know. I, I, I was cured of it. And I tried to tell him, no, Jason, you're an alcoholic. And if you consume booze just a little bit, it's going to be a snowball effect and you're going to want more and more and more and more. And that's what happened. But it's only been three days, so it could have been worse. Um, he didn't get so drunk where he'd black out and get violent with me, which is good, but... Do I think he'll be okay now? I pray that he does. I hope that he does, but it's a disease. He can't have it. I tried to explain it to him that alcoholism is a disease. It's not curable. You'll always be an alcoholic. And I think he's realizing because of what he's done that I was 100% correct. And the reason why I'm 100% correct about that is because I've gone to rehab before. I was, I was addicted on spice. Um, um, and I went to rehab like uh, months after I quit doing the stuff because I almost died on it, spice. Um, but... I did go to rehab and I did listen to a lot of people. I've gone to NA meetings. Um, I've gone to Alcoholics Anonymous. And not only that, I have family members who are alcoholics. I have family friends who are alcoholics. My whole life I was surrounded by alcoholics. My mom and dad are alcoholics. So I know how that brain functions. Um, and it's hard it's hard and it's always a battle because they get in a slump, they get depressed and then they start drinking and then it's just a downward cycle after that. Yeah. Thank you, Chubby. Thank you, Carrie. What's his relapse in? Mother's Day. He missed his mom. I remember seeing him on the couch and he was just crying on Mother's Day. I was crying on Mother's Day. 
and he went he went to sheets and i guess he got a handle and i didn't know but i i he started acting funny and the smell i can't get over the smell like alcohol has this intoxicating smell the only reason why I didn't, I, I was calling, I was saying, are you drinking? Because I was smelling it off him. Like, please tell me if you are. Um, but he gaslighted me and that, that, it wasn't, it wasn't that he relapsed. That was the problem. It's the fact that he was lying to me, hiding behind my back and gaslighting me. That's my problem. Um, but that's, that's alcoholism for you. And I'm not an alcoholic. And these idiots want to say I'm a meth head. I will not do meth. I do not look like a meth head in any way, shape, or possible. Maybe my teeth are fucked up, but that's because I have a vitamin D deficiency and I didn't know it. And I had a ton rain and it broke my fucking teeth. But J Jason realized he is wrong. He says he's not going to do it again. Do I believe him? Absolutely not. Because I understand alcoholism. He's probably going to relapse several times in his life. Most do. That harsh reality. Oh my god, you definitely don't look like a meth head. No. I don't sound like a meth head either. You would think my face would be a lot more pockmarked if I was a meth head and I'd like my... Like, they have this, like, look in their eyes. This isn't like the meth look. Their eyes do this. You know what I mean? Like, your eyes literally, like, sink down like this when you do meth. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Katana. I'm, I'm monitoring the money. Um, like a hawk. I'm just really sick of being lied to, to tell you the truth. It wasn't really him. It was everyone, really. Like, I'm, I'm very, I'm very angry at the world. Because I, I feel like I was never really given a chance to have any success in my life. Every time I was down that road of success, something or someone would come by and just destroy that successful part. And I had to restart over and over and over and over and over again. I don't know how many times in my life I had to restart it. And I'm telling you, I'm at the point now with my health and my mental state of being so fucked with by everyone in my life that I'm just, I'm done. I am a fully cooked egg that wants to get off this earth. I want to be in heaven. I want to be with Jesus. I don't want this shit. I don't need this shit. I have no desire for anything in this world really anymore. My desire is with Jesus and always will be with Jesus. I I was so pissed off at him. But I didn't I didn't lose my shit. Which I I will give myself a big pat on the back for having self-control. If no one else will give me a pat in the back, I'll pat myself on the back. 
I have self control. I I treated the situation like I would have treated one of my clients. And I'm proud of myself. For not going into BPD, uh, black and white switching mode. No, I didn't do that. I looked at the reality as what it is now. And I took care of it. You recommend a dentist? Oh my god. Could look fine in a dentist in this state. You seem to have handled it very... I did, man! I handled that shit good. I'm proud of myself. Like, I've been really working on not going into that um, histrionic mode that I used to go into. I worked hard on that, not to go in hysteronics. Hi, baby. Hi, Mudvayne and Megadeth are playing here soon. What? Sorry. Oh, Mudvayne? Yes. Oh. Mudvayne and Megadeth. Take See, I don't give a shit about Megadeth. It's Mudvayne that I like. You like Mudvayne? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I played some of that. I, don't think I like corn. Like yeah. Why wouldn't faster, I? Though. They're a lot faster and more. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, you know I know. I mean? I, but I they got good beats. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's right. I love my thing. Are you smoking a clove? No. I'm s smoking a buck something crisscross fucking gross shit. They're a buck. Six feet seven and a half. A buck sixty-seven. Sorry, the crisscrosses are ten cents more. It's because oh. they're a little longer. I, that's what she said. Uh, a buck seventy-six a pack. A buck seventy-six for twenty. Okay, that's cheap as shit. <laughs> you get people in that really. I can't find a dentist in this state. That's the problem. They don't take people on Medicaid. Mm -mm. It's really bad for optometry. There's not a single place, not even Walmart, takes eye doctor. Yeah, eye doctors. You can't find. I say we go to Minnesota. They have good health care. Oh, Jesus. I know. The hell would you want to go back? You know, there? they're wrecked now. That's great. I'd rather go to Jersey, to be honest, than Minnesota. <laughs> I'd rather live in Jersey. That's super cheap. Those are so nasty. Yes. I love them. But it, but it provides... Nicotine. Well, yeah. Which my body so craves. And I know I have to quit. And it's cheaper than buying the tobacco and rolling But I'm not... Own. I know I have to quit so I can have my surgeries. But I'm just not ready yet. Not ready. Yeah, we have Medicaid. Yeah, we got it. Not very useful in a lot of cases. Medicaid is a bottom of the barrel health care. Of course it is, yeah. Poor people. Let them die. Oh, Jersey has good public assistant programs. I hear. Heard from a certain guy. Pennsylvania sucks, dudes. Yeah. I'll be honest. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Okay. Of all the places I've lived, okay, I've, I've lived in, I was born in New York, Schenectady. I, I lived in Connecticut. I lived in Wisconsin. I lived in North Carolina. I lived in South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Texas, um, Pennsylvania, Minnesota. You lived in Connecticut? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, went from four to six. Eight. My God, he's in everywhere. I lived in Meriden. Crazy. Connecticut. Yeah, I lived everywhere. Yeah. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. 
but I have to say, Pennsylvania is probably the worst state I've, th- I've ever lived in. I, 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 yeah, it's the worst state I've ever lived, I ever lived in. No wonder Joe Biden left. Oh, I am I know. I feel bad for you. <laughs> Whatever. Because so many states are so much greater. I ain't complaining. Like, you've heard from your uncle, North Carolina is bomb. Yeah, he loves it. It's bomb. I love North Carolina. I hear. Um, yep. Connecticut is beautiful. <sighs> New York is beautiful, and the culture is so rich. I love New York. I I love the people in Pennsylvania. Don't get me wrong. They're nice, yeah, mostly nice. It's gotten a lot better. You actually. know, they're Italian Irish. They're my people. Okay. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Um, Polish, Italian, Irish. My people. That's about what's here. That's about my blood. Anyway. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm not moving to Ohio. Oh, why? Mm. Evan, why would you do that to yourself? Move to Ohio. Yeah. Who, why would you do that to yourself? Correct, Matt. Matt said Scranton used to be nice, and Absolutely. now it's a cesspool. Correct. Even Allentown and all the other towns are filled with crime and horrors. Yeah. Is it for real? Oh, my God. My dream is to live in Montana. Allentown is where I was born. You know, Montana sounds like a good idea. There's no people there. There you go, wide open spaces. Oh, it's the best neighbors. Nebraska. I lived in Nebraska too. I forgot to say that. I love Nebraska. I love how you can go into a cornfield and hear complete and utter silence. It's the most silence you will ever hear if you're in a cornfield in the middle of Nebraska. You'll never hear silence like Thank that. Thank you for that experience. Though. Isn't that interesting? It's amazing. All you can do is feel God in the in those crops. Awesome. That was great. Yeah, I love Nebraska. Just silence. It's like straight up. You're literally like just, shh. you know what the voice of the car would be. <laughs> Laugh out loud. We are looking to leave Ohio again, so I understand. Yeah, everyone says Ohio is a shit pool. It's the same with Indiana, Ohio, Indiana, Ohio. Just pretty much everything on thirty. Ohio, <laughs> Indiana. Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Shit. Wait. Parts of Illinois sucks too, like Chicago. I hate Chicago. Okay. I lived in Wisconsin and Minnesota. I have a right to say what I feel about Chicago. Because those motherfuckers would come into my state and ruin it. (laughs) I hate Chicago. I hate driving through Chicago. I don't really like the people of Chicago because they're mean and they're all about themselves and selfish. That's how NEPA people feel about Pittsburgh and Philly people. Yeah, they're probably very similar. Get the hell out. We don't want you here. Yeah, that's... (laughs) Okay. Sorry, but that's true. No. Duluth's biggest mistake, and Duluth now is a crime place, a place of crime... Duluth, Minnesota, has crime in it. And it, when I moved there, there was z- virtually zero crime. Okay? And then what they did, they, they, they opened up their shelters to battered women in Chicago. So the battered women would come. What they didn't tell us is the battered women would bring their batterers from Chicago to Minnesota, and it caused a lot of crime to spike, murders, shootings, thievery, and it was the worst mistake Duluth did was open the doors for those battered women. And I know it's battered women. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I salute my sisters, and I hope they get out of that situation. But they brought their batterers. And their crime to us. And ruined the state. That's just facts, you know. Yeah. Facts can be uncomfortable, but they're facts. I haven't gotten to that point, Katana. Chicago hot dogs, though. Mm. I never had one. Wouldn't know. Well done stuff. 
their pizza. Meh. Yeah, a deep dish deal. I, I'm Meh. Not, nah. Give you constipation, I'll say that. It's a lot of cheese. It's uh -huh. a lot of cheese. It's a lot of cheese. And it's so heavy. I hate it. I'd rather New York style pizza every day. I am 100% with you with a New York style pizza. The best. It's not going to be this overfilling constipation type thing that happens with the Chicago pizza. Oh. Good pizza will just fill you and it's. Yeah. You're done. Exactly. That stuff, yeah. What's my skincare routine? Uh, wipes and uh, I use this stuff. Very effective. I, oh my God. I'm going through perimetopause. So, I need a lot of lotion because apparently with perimenopause, you get dry skin. Go figure. And it goes everywhere. My butt, my thighs, my legs, my arms, my boobs, my stomach, yeah, you, my face, all dry skin. I never experienced that before. You definitely before. put the lotion on the skin. I do. Do. I put the lotion on the skin so I don't have to get the hose again. <laughs> See, Trump, that's how you do a Hannibal Lecter joke. Oh. It was a wild bill joke. Really. Speaking of which, to the Trumpers out there, how, like, I've read Thomas Harris, I read all his books. Thomas Harris, if you didn't know, is the person who wrote Silence of the Lambs. Donald Trump said the late, great Hannibal Lecter. If you're a reader of said books, you know Hannibal never died. He's still alive. Thomas Harris has to write a wonderful book for t telling the story of his death. I, I think he should now. I think he should he should to. write a book that call, and call it Hannibal Dies. Yeah. And then end the Hannibal Lecter thing. But so but cool in the in, in 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 there is no late great Hannibal Lecter because Hannibal Lecter didn't die in the story. Right. So I don't get the speech that Trump gave over Hannibal Lecter. Because he's not late. And he's not great. He's a, a Hannibal Lecter is a a damaged damaged man who had so much trauma from being forced to eat his sister during World War II. Jesus. And he was so abused by these people that he ended up becoming a monster. That is horrific. He had this Asian woman that tried to give him his heart and let him choose his heart over his evil. But he chose evil over his heart. You will you can read that in the book Hannibal. That tells that's, you that's about... An, that's Anakin Skywalker shit, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. He chose the dark side. Yes. It's Hannibal... Silence of the Lambs, Red Dragon. But he agreed to himself that he would only kill rude people and eat them. Not nice people. No, he'd, he'd only eat the rude. Right. The people who were uh, evil. Just not good people. Not good people. And I think that comes from his experience with World War II. He had to consume his sister, too, who was innocent. You know, yeah. he, like that's oh my god. It's a fucked up story, it's but it's really messed up. But he's not dead in canon, so I don't there know where go. he gets late and great. I don't either. The late great Anthony Hopkins, folks. <clears throat> well, yeah, he's living. Anthony Hopkins still alive too. And he is great. Oh my god, he's amazing. He is great. And he's a poet. Mm -hmm. And he thinks so deeply and richly. And oh, I love you, Anthony Hopkins, so much. He's an incredible guy. Oh, I, I love how artistic his mind is. Just to spend the day um, with him, like eating food and talking, you know? Yeah. It'd be great. Gold Bond medicated powder, what? Stuff's awesome. Oh, do you have any recommendations for Chafin? Uh, 
Gold Bond. Awesome. I use that, the powder and the lotion. Another thing, go to the baby aisle and get yourself some Desidin. It's perfect. Desidin is, it, if you go to the doctor and you have a chafing problem, they will give you pretty much Desidin for your chafing. So, that stuff is thick. Yeah, yeah it's Desidin. thick. But it works. Yeah, that, that's the purpose. Get yourself some Desidin. It's cheap. It works. Yeah, it's it was it's made for babies, but it was made specifically for diaper rash, which is chafing. Eucerin products are also very good. Every yes, eucerin. Eucerin is another one. I have eucerin. Yes, you do. Um, it's another good one. Intensive repair. Yeah, you should probably draw on that because it's yeah. This is actually what uh medical professionals use. If you have someone who's like does shave you put this on them there you go so that's another one that's really good yeah so good stuff you could also use uh actually if you don't want to do the pharmacy route you could also use uh extra virgin coconut oil and put it on there and it should heal it too if you want to do that coconut oil is so amazing man. yeah just no powder near the hoo-ha. Oh, my God. The burden feeling. <sighs> mm. Gold bond on the cooter bits? It makes it burn? Yeah, oh, dude. God. That's not good. I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. No good. I learned that adults would put baby powder down there, and I was baffled by this. It's true, though. It helps. <laughs> It's true though. Gold Bond's a bad bird. Those baby products are really good. You want the good bird? No, no, no. You want the good bird? <laughs> you want the good bird? There's the good bird. <laughs> no, it doesn't really heat nothing. It this doesn't really heat up. It doesn't heat up. It doesn't. That's false advertisement. It's just it lube. really is. It's, it's just lube. it's just lube. It's lube. Which we don't need at all. I don't really need it. For the bottle, if we do that. I got Icy Hot on my Stink Star once. Oh, my dear sweet Jesus. What a mistake. Oh, my oh, God. Icy Hot in the butthole. Oh, no. On the bottom of your ball sack, if you're a guy, that's the worst. They used to do that in uh, the hazing for the football players in high school. They used to force them to do that, to put Icy Hot on their nut sack and go through practice. Ah! I, I've, 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 I've seen that happen, too. Hey, coach. Hey. <laughs> you icy hot in your balls, any you kid? Go wash them. What's wrong with you? I had a friend that used baby oil as lube. I was like, no. Baby oil as lube? No. 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 I wouldn't think that would. No. No. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Astral Glide's good stuff. Coconut oil's also good for it. And that's natural. You can eat that, no problem. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we should get that. 100% natural and great for your skin. Mm -hmm. I don't know why more people don't use it. Mm -hmm. It's probably better than all the other lotions you can get, to tell you the truth. Did you put that lotion on the skin? No hose. And you can buy it with food stamps. There you go. That's so if you're poor and you don't have lotion, spend so a little on the extra virgin. Uh, olive oil is good, too. Right. But coconut oil. There you go, man. Heck, hair wash. You 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 can replace hair wash too. Just wash your hair in vinegar. I've heard that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vinegar. Vinegar is great. So if you're really freaking poor, and all you have is food stamps, you can you can buy products that you can use on your hair and your skin that are food based, but they work. Dr. Steve Blow on Tim Nothing Harris. more natural than that. You got a problem with stinky body parts? Put some vinegar on it, stupid. Don't be a dingus. 
Women douche with vinegar. I know. The Summer's Eve stuff has a part. This thing is, it won't charge right because of the, it keeps. Okay. I, coconut oil helps your hair grow. Yeah, I, I need to get some coconut oil to tell you the truth. Cause my hair is getting like super long now. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, I'm having a really good hair day. No, your hair looks pretty all the time now. It's nice and long. Looks gorgeous. And there's still a little bit of blue left on the ends. But I Down love there. doing a coconut treatment. And I gotta tell my sister this, but the grays are coming in at the same exact spot where my dad... My dad had, like, all his life... He had this gray stripe right here. And my grays are coming in exactly where my dad's gray spot was. That's, that's amazing. I know. I got to tell my sister that. She's going to be like, no, shit, really? Same spot. Yeah. That's incredibly amazing. <laughs> Is my hair due for a wash? Oh, guys, you don't know. Like, it's <laughs> out of here right now. Yeah. I really hope that guy comes I need you to show me how you do your thread braids. Yeah, I should do that on camera one day. You definitely should do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, when you had that, the blue hair, and you, you put that, the binding stuff in your God, that's so hot, dude. The thread, the, the thread through your hair there. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Is it's hot? really easy. You probably could look it up on YouTube. And it's, it, just look out, look up how, uh, how African American women do braids, and it, it pretty much teaches you how to do the braids with the threads. It's when, pretty much the same concept. When I see a girl with that, that's that's white, I I automatically think Irish. Yes, that's a definitely Irish girl. Thing. Braids and dreads are very Irish. So hot, love it. So that cultural appropriation crap that people like to try to pull on me sometimes because I put braids in my hair. Mm -hmm. nah. It's like... Nah, wait a minute. My name's I'm Irish. <laughs> my name's McGraw. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, That's my culture, bro. You're right. telling me not to have braids in my hair and dreads in my hair because I, I have white skin? <laughs> the Irish did it. Absolutely. We were known as the snake people. Does your hair look like snakes? Yeah. The dreads. Yes. That's incredible. There you go. Which is funny. We're called the snake people. But. Tribe of Dan. I, 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 Tribe find, of Dan. I find it interesting. But the thing is. St. Patrick. Kicked them out. The killed snakes. the snakes. Right. That don't. I think that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Little irony there. Different type of snake deal that he was kicking out. Yeah. <laughs> Evil ass. Known as the snake people, but yet our St. Patrick kicked them out. Mm-hmm. Clubbed them <clears throat> motherfuckers to death. No other way to deal with them. Get rid of the snakes. Smash the head. We, we smash the head of the snakes. Crush it. We don't need it. They are the devil. Right. <laughs> I. Behind me, devil. Exactly. Behind me, you filthy wretch. Gotta love the Irish, man. I, that's our people. It's my people. I didn't know. I thought I was Welsh. I thought I was British and Welsh. Because that's what my mom told me. No, you are wrong, mommy. We were Irish. I, uh, you guys did. My family did not know this. Good. You don't have that smell coming no off way. you anymore. I promise you, honey. It's not going to happen again. I promise. I promise you. See, it wasn't the fact that you were drinking that was the problem. I, I, I said I was lying to you and yeah. not, you know, and lie by omission too. I would just do get it and do it right here with you, sitting next to you. It's lie by omission. And I was smelling it the whole time and you knew you it. Were. Of course you were. But it's truthful also that I was chewing Big Red. But it doesn't matter. 
Okay. The fumes of alcohol is distinct. Yes. You can't hide that. It's 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 cinnamon whiskey. That's what fireball is. So you're gonna smell the whiskey. And I did. And you did. I'm Irish. I know freaking whiskey. Of course you do. No, I was desperate to feel different. I and know I whiskey, potatoes, and meat. I was desperate to feel different. And it was making me feel different in a positive way for me at the time. And that's why it happened. And that's it. It's over. I'm moving forward. No more booze. You that's sure? Yes. Absolutely. I say you go to AA. I think it would help me greatly. I'll go to AA with you. I like that shit. No. You're not going to be Marla Singer at AA. You're not there's an plenty alcoholic. Of spouse, there's plenty of spouses who go with their spouse to AA. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm just doing it. it for support. Yeah, I'm going to have a sponsor. That's my support. If who do you AA, think you're going to be able to... Who, who do you think will sponsor you? That's what it's for. That you go and you get a sponsor that supports you in your sobriety. Chubby said it's okay, Jason. Just pick back up and start again. Yeah. Don't let it defeat you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I fell off the wagon, as they put. That's what it is. Fall off the wagon. And I knew it. Yeah, you, of course you did. The smell. It was the smell. We're always together, right next to each other. And I was just like, I, no. Is there is there something that's rotten back there? No. Because that can give off an alcoholic smell. No. So I looked back there. No. No. No, it was clearly coming off you. And then the I started. Your and, and you refused. The, the biggest one was you would not kiss me. Exactly. And you usually maul me. Exactly. But I knew you knew from the first. I knew you knew. because Then why continue with a lie? Because I was massively suicidal. And I had to feel different. That's why. I'm really sorry that it happened. But that's the truth. That's the truth. You need to get a hold of your therapist, I think, and talk to her. It doesn't do shit. I, I go see my mommy. That would be more productive to go see my mom's grave and talk to her a little bit. That would make me feel better. And put a plant on her grave. I'm sorry you miss your mom. I really do. Yeah. I, I do. know how you feel, though. I know you do with your daddy. We're both orphans in this world. Correct. Just next time... Please come to me. Yeah, I will. I'll talk to you before I think about putting anything in me like that. That's Because I'm do. not here to hurt you. I know. I love you. You want to save my life. Huh? Yeah, I don't want to see you destroy yourself over a fucking drink. Yeah, it's not worth it. Not at all. No. Because you have such a beautiful soul. You do too, babies. And drinking makes you such an ugly person. It can, yeah. And that's not you. No. No, when I go overboard, it's not me. No. It's the spirits. Yeah, and I, I, I see it. I know, I notice it. So, like, please come to me next time because I'm, I'm here for you. Thank you. I know I'm sick, but I'm still here for you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Very much. I know how morning is. Sorry. It does. It's been 12 years, but it, nah. And don't go away. I, 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 no, it doesn't go away for me, so I don't assume it would go away for you. Nah, it doesn't. It's just there. Yep. And you miss them. And you can't call them. No. That would be cool if God allowed that. That we could like. Talk to our relatives who went to the other side. You know what I mean? That will be great. 
That would be awesome. I'm there for you. Thank you, Hope. I don't like lies, though. I don't either. I don't either. The guilt and shame that comes from it? Yeah, it feels so bad. <laughs> yeah, That's I why know. I repented. That's why. He asked me twice. And I was like, no, no. And then that third time, you're like, I just want the truth. And that was it. I'm like, okay. I said specifically, do you love me enough to tell exactly, me the truth? Exactly, that's what did it. Do you love me enough to tell me the truth? That was it. And I went out in that freezer. I got that shit and threw it right on the floor. You're right. You're right. I always am. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> not on me putting my dick in another chick nope that didn't happen that has not happened and it won't happen <laughs> that won't happen but get back on that wagon you got this coffee. Yeah. exactly coffee and cigarettes are your best friend right now I hate depression. I hate mourning. I dream of my parents every night. Every night, I dream of my parents. And every morning, I wake up missing them. Not so much my mother, but my dad... I miss my dad so much. And I wish I never said that thing that I hope they get COVID. I was just so mad at them for making that video and lying about me to get fucking a pat on the back by my haters. I miss my dad so fucking much. Like, me and my dad have so much in common. Like, he gave me a love for science and philosophy. You know, he, he, he taught me about engineering and he taught me about different music and like we go to horror movies together because my mom doesn't like scary movies um so my dad would bring me because i enjoyed it you know i was a little girl watching nightmare on elm street with my dad you know i was a little girl watching star trek with my dad you know i always watched what my dad watched you know and um, we also love we loved the Food Network together, and we used to cook together. And I loved when he used to treat me with those movie dates. And I miss that so much. I miss going to the movies with my dad. I miss his laugh. I miss my dad so fucking much. Yeah, you do. <sighs> you know, if you think about it, your dad is like... The first man you ever love. Yeah. And when your dad's gone, it's just... 
I lost my best friend in a lot of ways. Because we, we had a good friendship and my mom ruined it. She had to. We were too happy together. Oh my God. I'm sorry about that, Chubby. I miss him so much, man. I miss his food. My dad was such a good cook. And he, not only was he a good cook, but he was a creative cook. He'd like do different things with stuff, you know. I miss his pasta sauce because he always put green peppers in it. And it always, I love that taste. Of green peppers in a pasta sauce. My mom would never do it. But my dad did. And it was just... What sauces do they usually put green peppers in? The, 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 they, I know there's a name for it. He used to make gumbo. Mm. You know. He, he, he made amazing cakes. Always. Mm. <laughs> I miss his tuna. I want to make it. I know how to make it. But... It's not going to be the same because it's not my dad, but I miss his tuna macaroni salad. Oh, my God. It's so good. I miss his potato salad. I will never be able to make his potato salad. Why is it the ones you love the most leaves? Okay, I'm getting too emotional. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to leave, try to cheer myself up somehow. Um, just pray for us. And um, know that I love you guys. And thank you for listening to me. It's just I've been going through it. He's been going through it. But um, I love him. And um, I'm going to try to help him through what he's going through. So give us prayers. Um, you guys have a good day. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys. <laughs>